The Dropout is an American drama miniseries created by Elizabeth Merriweather, based on the podcast of the same name, hosted by Rebecca Jarvis and produced by ABC News. The series documents the disgraced biotechnology company Theranos and its founder, Elizabeth Holmes, played here by Amanda Siegfried. The Dropout premiered on the streaming service Hulu on March 3, 2022. It received mostly positive reviews from critics who praised the writing and the performance of the cast. The series is nominated for six Primetime Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Limited or Anthology Series, and Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie for Siegfried, who, of course, went on to win the award. The Dropout is based on the ABC audio podcast of the same name. It is a series about the rise and fall of Elizabeth Holmes and her company, Theranos. The show touches on experiences that likely motivated Holmes' deceptions and lies in linear fashion, starting from her pre-teens all the way to the exposure as a fraud. The main cast includes Amanda Siegfried as Elizabeth Holmes, an American former biotechnology entrepreneur convicted of criminal fraud. Naveen Andrews as Sunny Balwani, an American businessman and former president and chief operating officer of Theranos, which was privately held health technology company founded by his then-girlfriend, Elizabeth Holmes. Laura Metliff as Dr. Phyllis Gardner, a professor of medicine at Stanford University of School of Medicine. She had previously served as Dean of Education. Gardner was one of the first people to publicly be skeptical of Elizabeth Holmes. William H. Macy as Richard Fuse, an American physician, inventor and entrepreneur with connections to the United States military and intelligence community. He holds more than 200 patents worldwide. Stephen Fry as Dr. Ian Gibbons, who was a British biochemist who was also chief scientist of Theranos. Gibbons intentionally took an overdose the night before he was required to testify in a lawsuit about the health company's technology. He died of liver failure several days later after his suicide attempt. Sam Waterson as George Schultz, who was an American economist, diplomat and businessman, and he served various positions under three different Republican presidents and is one of only two people to have held four different cabinet-level posts, the other being Elliot Richardson. Kurtwood Smith as David Boyes, an American lawyer and chairman of the law of firm Boyes Schiller Flexer LLP. Boyes also represented Theranos. Dylan Meliwet as Tyler Schultz, grandson to George Schultz and also whistleblower at Theranos. And Evan Moss Bacharach as John Caracu, a French-American journalist and writer who worked on the Wall Street Journal for 20 years between 1999 and 2019. He became well known for having exposed the fraudulent practices of the multi-billion dollar blood testing company, namely Theranos. In an interesting casting note, Kate McKinnon was originally cast as Elizabeth Holmes, former CEO of Theranos. On February 18, 2021, McKinnon dropped out of the project. Though her departure did not come with an explanation, production moved forward without McKinnon, and later Amanda Siegfried was cast in the role. Now, I found this series absolutely fascinating. I didn't really know much about the Elizabeth Holmes story, but frankly, I'm absolutely amazed that this woman, this con artist, could pull off this huge con, as it were, I mean, she literally bamboozled everyone. And I think everybody wanted to believe in so much that a woman could rise to the level of CEO and founded her own company and be compared to the likes of Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs and make it on her own, especially a young woman at that. And Elizabeth Holmes played off this perfectly. She used her feminine charms, her gift of gab and her ability to be the ultimate saleswoman to really charm her way into making a fortune, all on the basis of a fraudulent lie. Now, Amanda Siegfried is absolutely magnificent in this role. She carries the show on her back, from her expressions to the way she looks, her awkwardness, the way she lowers the tone of voice. And having now seen Elizabeth Holmes talking in real life, as well as her mannerisms, and Amanda Siegfried is completely on point here. It was a known fact that Elizabeth Holmes would lower her voice so as to be taken more seriously in the predominantly male business world. Amanda fully deserved her Best Actress win at the 2022 Emmy Awards. This show skillfully manages to cover Holmes' life throughout the years flawlessly and it really dives into this most complex and enigmatic of characters. Naveen Andrews as well is superb here as the cutthroat Sonny. Now, he absolutely adores Elizabeth and will do anything for her, but in many ways, he's also a very bad influence on her, and the two of them make a terrible combination. Naveen is ruthless and cold in this role, yet he shows a softer side when dealing with Elizabeth. I also particularly enjoyed the supporting cast. I mean, besides the main two, the rest of the cast sort of changed throughout as you now go on this journey with Elizabeth Holmes and Sonny. But all the cast are on point, and it's wonderful to see big hitters like Stephen Fry, Kurtwood Smith, and even Sam Waterson in very poignant and perfect roles. Everyone for me is so well cast and really brings another essence to the show. 
This miniseries really manages to depict Holmes and the different aspects of her personality. The show can be maddening, frustrating, but all the while gripping, and even funny at times, and this recreation of a story that you feel would be too absurd to be true if we didn't know really otherwise. I mean, there's no doubting that Holmes was an intelligent woman. It's just that she got so caught up in her own deceit and lies, and she was so hell-bent on changing the world and making billions that she just lost herself along the way and dug herself deeper and deeper into this hole. Whether though she is a psychopath or just a woman lost within herself, well, that's for you to decide. It really is a jaw-dropping story, and as the old saying goes, Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction, and like I said, it's unbelievable that this woman was able to con some of the most powerful people in all of American business and politics. It's a well-made, fascinating insight into the real Elizabeth Holmes story and how this woman got away with complete and utter fraud. But it really is Amanda Sidfried's portrayal here that brings this show to light. I think her acting is so fantastic, and it couldn't have been an easy role to take on. Fascinating, gripping, and frustrating because you know this has all really happened in real life. The Dropout really does capture the true essence of this most complex of stories. The Dropout gets a 9 out of 10.